Hi there, everybody. This is the Book of Unwritten Tales 2, a tongue-in-cheek homage to role-playing games and the fantasy world we all love. But it's not an RPG. It's a point-and-click adventure because... Well, well because... Uh, don't we want to make money or something? Oi, stick to the script, Nate. This is important. Chill out, Shorty. I can handle this. The Book of Unwritten Tales was a great success. It became one of the best-rated adventure games of recent years. Players loved the atmosphere, they adored the characters, and the humor of the game. For the developer King Art Games, it should have been their big breakthrough. But their former publisher went bankrupt, and instead of the rewards of success, the young team were forced into debt. But the story isn't over. With your help, we can produce a second part. Uh, Nate. And little Wilbur here can finally smile again. Donate now and... Nate! The game is already funded. It will be released in 2014. Wait. Oh, then we're trying to squeeze extra money out of the people. <laughs> I like that. No, Nate. The game is funded and will come out. But with the support of our fans, it could be bigger and better. All right. Buy the game before you've seen it. Then it'll be bigger and better. Exactly. There are many things that are standard in role-playing games or action adventures that you usually can't afford in the production of an adventure game. But who wants the status quo? We want to break our adventure out of the mold. Did you ever question why adventure games don't normally have many optional puzzles or alternative puzzle solutions? The answer is, it's expensive to implement these things. But wouldn't it be cool if you could choose to go with us on a whole bunch of side quests, just like in an RPG? Another example, the music. The Book of Unwritten Tales was praised for its great music, but just imagine what it would be like if it was played by a real orchestra. Is that absolutely necessary? No. But would it improve the game? Oh, yes. If you don't want to work with real-time 3D graphics because you want to have very detailed backgrounds, even on older computers, you normally have to cope with the fact that the cameras in the scenes are rather static. And yet, you could do much more with the right technique. It's just a whole lot of extra work. That the players should pay for? I don't know. If a developer wants things like that in their game, they should pay for it or drop it. Exactly. That's why everyone usually drops it. We're already making an excellent game, and people can buy it when it's finished. Or, we'll make an even better game and give it to the backers for less. Or if they want, they can pledge even more and receive rewards that normally wouldn't be available. Can't we just stick to the poor development team needs money to make the sequel to a great game story? We don't need the money to finish the game, but we need it to make all the cool stuff that normally wouldn't be made. We want to make the best game possible. And if you want to help us with that, we're looking forward to your pledge. <laughs>